Hey, what is up you guys? I have an OU match for you today against SK31, who I found on the Smog on Wi-Fi Battle Finder. Um, looking at the teams, he brought very some very hyper-offensive stuff, as you can see, because, uh, well, he doesn't have a single thing that usually carries defense investment. I guess you could maybe run specially defensive Keldeo, but then... You don't really see that too often either. Some things that I'm really afraid of are the Latios, because if that is Scarfed, it's going to be outspeeding a lot of my team. If it's Specs, it's going to hit hard as a truck. The Landorus T, depending on what set he is, is also going to hit very hard. Same goes for um, the remaining special attackers that he has uh, in the forms of Gengar, Genesect, Raikou, and... The other thing, Keldeo, actually his team is mostly specially orientated, uh, so yeah, I'm going to want to be keeping my specially defensive Vaporeon around. I'm just going to lead off this game with my Thunderous T, who is, who is nicknamed Thor, because God of Thunder. It is, uh, this set is Agility, I believe. So, because Gengar really cannot do a lot to me, because uh, I can absorb Thunder, Focus Blast doesn't do a lot, and Shadow Ball won't kill me either, I'm just going to set up an agility as he switches out into his Landorus, which I found to be a little bit odd, because uh, I know that he can sponge my, my Thunder, or Thunderbolt, uh, I think I carry Thunderbolt, and also my Volt Switch, if I were Scarfed, but I am Life Orb, so... But... It turns out that he's going to live my HPIs on his Focus Sash, and he said that he didn't know what other item to put on it, so that kind of surprised me, to be honest, because I'm going to lose my Thunderous T so very early in the game, even though I thought, like, I'm going to set up an agility and I'm going to sweep his team from the very beginning, but I guess that wasn't going to happen. So I'm going to go into my Choice Bandit Infernape to uh, revenge kill him, I guess. <laughs> because I know he wasn't Scarfed, and I can thus outspeed him uh, and hit him with a Choice Bandit U-turn. I'm just going to switch into my Genesect right here. Obviously, he's going to get the Switch Initiative because I U-turned and he died. So he's going to go out into his Latios. I have no idea what, what happened here. I just completely brain farted and didn't I, I thought that I'd be faster if he were Specs, but obviously Latios is always faster than Genesect if it's not Scarf, because I'm actually a Life Orb set. He's always going to be faster, so that kind of blows for me. As you can see here, he switched up moves and he didn't get Life Orb uh, recoil. So I'm thinking either he's Leftovers, which is unlikely in my mind, or he's Expert Belt. I'm leaning towards Expert Belt because, you know, it's 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 good on Latios, really. Uh, so I'm just going to go for the Scald, figuring that he might want to switch out for some reason. I didn't really know. I was kind of stressed out at this point because I lost my Genesect so very early in the game, which was not good, obviously. But he's now at minus two attack, and for some reason he stays in and keeps trying to attack me with different moves and showing me his moveset and stuff like that. But... Uh, I'm pretty sure that he does not get leftovers at any point right here, so he is most definitely expert belted. He's actually gonna switch out into his Raikou, as I'm just gonna toxic because I would have won a toxic on the thing, the Latios, or if he switched. I was pretty certain that he wasn't gonna switch into Gengar because Gengar is really frail, so. And it can't really touch me, so it's going to get hit hard by stuff, and it can't really dish out hits to me, so it would I would most likely win one-on-one. -on -one. And his Genesect, I don't know, he might, he could have switched into that, but I just, I took the risk, and I, I poisoned it. I'm just going to, I'm going to get my Wish back. I didn't want to protect, I don't know why I didn't just protect. I could have done that, and, or, I, oh no, wait, I did do that. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm very behind on my narration. <laughs> As I'm just going to go out into my thing, my fortress, because it, it is not going to be very useful in this game anymore, because his Landorus T is now gone, and most of his, or all of his team, rather, is special attacker, so 
I'm just going to be able to to kill everything, or stall everything out rather, with my Vaporeon. I'm just going to go into my my own Landorus T right here, get the Intimidate, which really doesn't matter because all special attackers. As he goes for Volt Switch, he did switch up moves here, and I didn't see him get Life Orb uh, stuff at any point, or leftovers. He could still be uh, Life Orb though, because I didn't... I, Pretty sure that he didn't attack me at all, or didn't land a hit. But it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna go for a Stone Edge on this Gengar. I am Choice Carved, so I am 100% certain that I'm gonna be able to outspeed him the next turn because he did get Black Sludge uh, health back. So this next Stone Edge is gonna KO. He, I don't know what he was thinking. Perhaps I was Focus Sash too, even though uh, Choice Carve is a better item for. Landorus T. But he's gonna go ahead into his Genesect. He's gonna get a boost, which I missed. <laughs> I missed it in the game as well. I had this game maybe an hour ago, and I I, I missed what boost he got. But I'm gonna go into my into my fortress just to just sack it and go into something that directly threatens threatens this thing. So he's obviously gonna switch out fearing the flare blitz or the overheat or whatever. And basically to sponge that, he's going to go out into his Keldeo. I probably should have just gone for ch for uh, close combat. I don't know why I didn't, because I'm pretty sure that Keldeo would have just died from a Choice Bandit stab close combat from an Infernape. However, I am going to go out into my, um, into my Landorus T. And uh, obviously U-Turn is resisted, but for some reason I go for it again. Perhaps thinking that... For some reason, because I, br I brought it in, I could have bluffed having something to deal with Keldeo directly, but I really don't. So I was hoping for him to go out into his Ladio, so I could potentially 2-KO it with that, uh, with a with a U-turn. But he's going to go out for the Icy Wind, which I thought to be weird. I'm not sure. Icy Wind, I think, has like 40 base power and always lower speed, but then I am not sure if my Landorus T would have even died from that. It doesn't really matter though. Uh, as I'm just going to ride into my Vaporeon to basically take any hit, I I know that, the, that this thing always carries Secret Sword and that calculates damage uh, with the physical defense stat and I don't have anything invested in that. I am max HP, calm, max special defense, but even though I, I can still live with oh with little uh, with over half actually rather uh, after leftovers rather as I'm just gonna go for protectors to get some more uh, leftovers back and to rack up the poison damage on his side I don't know why he keeps staying in because uh, Genesect does directly threaten my Vaporeon with uh, Thunderbolt because I'm pretty sure that Thunderbolt can do a KO even though that he would get the physical attack raise from my Vaporeon because that stat is lower. But he's gonna go for another secret sword. I don't know what he was predicting the turn before. Maybe waste some PP on another move because I was gonna go for protect anyways. But I'm just gonna go for a wish on this turn as he went for the secret sword and I'm gonna be able to just get all my HP back and kind of just wish all this guy while uh, Toxic is indeed racking up. Look at that, that was a huge chunk out of his HP. And he does realize that and he's gonna switch out. He's gonna go out into his Raikou, which I did poison before. And Raikou is a, well, it is at this point pretty much useless. I'm not sure if at this point I'm gonna go for a Protect again, or if I'm gonna continue to Basically, or if I'm gonna attack him, rather, I think I'm just gonna attack. Yeah, as he he goes for an extra sensory. I'm not sure why he did that. Maybe predicting my uh, my Landorus T, or even my Infernape, because that would have hit it for super effective damage. But I'm just go for, gonna go for a Scald. I don't know what I was predicting. It was a pretty safe move, as I am max special defense, uh, which is on a Vaporeon gonna give for an enormous stat, seriously, I think it's base 95 special defense, 
So as you can see, he does get the attack raised. For some weird as reason, he goes for a Techno Blast. I think this is his... Uh, he has, besides this Genesect, he has his Keldeo and his Latios left. And I had absolutely no reason to switch out. And he goes for a, a water type Techno Blast because he does have the, the, the dish, the disc. I don't know what it is for the water type stuff. But as it turns out, my Scald is actually just a 3 AK on this thing, and even though he did get the physical attack raise, I do burn him right now, I was going to put him at minus 1, but I'm pretty sure that he doesn't even have U-turn because it would have made sense for him to go for that to hit me on the physical side of things. Here I just went for Protect to get a kill with style points for burn. <laughs> which is it, it was kind of a dick move it made this battle just a little bit longer than it maybe needed to be but yeah just style points and that as right now he's gonna go right back into his Keldeo which is gonna I at this point I said okay now come on and kill my Vaporeon because otherwise I can just stall out the rest of your team with this thing and that would not make this a lot of fun but it, so actually, uh, I, I was preparing for a three or a two a KO rather with Secret Sword, but it turns out he just gets a crit and makes this a little bit faster. So yeah, he does get more uh, toxic stuff going on, but really that doesn't matter all that much. As right here, I just went into my Infernape, I go for close combat, and that is going to take out this here Kelio. See, I'm pretty sure that. Choice Bandit Close Combat would have killed him before because we were in this very same scenario a few turns earlier. But I'm pretty sure Close Combat would, could have killed him then, but I didn't go for it. I don't know why, to be honest. Uh, because of this Latios, that was it. So, his Latios is right here, gonna go for a Draco Meteor. He's gonna outspeed. I'm, I think that I'm actually adamant instead of. Jolly, which I think Jolly would have made me faster than Latios, even though I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I think, no, Latios has base 110, and I think Infernip has base 101, so it would have been faster anyways. As I'm right here, he has a minus 2 special attack because of that. Draco Meteor he went for earlier, so I'm just going to go for a U-turn. If that would have taken him out, that would have been excellent. If not, then I'm going to have to bank on my base 80 special defense without investment to live this. Turns out I do live it and uh, even without the minus 2 that would have only very closely been a one hit KO so even though with like damage rolls and everything I might have been able to live that on like 2 HP but it doesn't really matter because he has a minus 2 and it's gonna do a little over half and then I just take him out with another U-turn so yeah, a very good game, SK31. It was a very close one. I did have to rely on stalling a little bit there, but your team was very hyper offensive. So hyper offensive teams are very prone to getting stalled by things like Vaporeon, especially if your team doesn't have a lot of stuff to effectively handle it. Mainly when Vaporeon is specially defensive and most of your team is specially offensive. But, you know, it doesn't really matter. So, yeah, I hope this uh, made all your Mondays just a little bit happier. And I guess I will see you guys next time.